Hello everybody, welcome back on my channel. My name is Vanessa and I make videos about music, productivity and health. Today's video is very basic. I just want to talk you through how I prepare my scores. I choose from fremden Ländern und Menschen by Robert Schumann. This piece is very short but very useful in terms of explaining how I prepare my scores. The first thing that I normally do is that I number the bars um, if it's not already done by the publisher. That's very useful because you can really say I have a problem in bar XYZ or there it's very tricky. So you can really name the bar you want to practice, which makes it much easier if you want to plan your practice or if you have problems in a bar and you really want to show your teacher or ask something about it, it's easier to find this bar. What I do next is normally that I subdivide the piece in different sections, which I call with alphabet letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And when I'm done with the alphabet, I do it with a double A, double B, double C, or like um, three times A, three times B, three times C, depends on how long the piece is. Normally the sections are three to four bars long, or even two, and they make also sense in the sense of um, phrasing and structuring the piece. The next step would be for me as a harpist putting in the pedals or putting in fingerings, but that's different from instrument to instrument, so I did not include this step in this video here. Then I do mark every tempo instructions or uh, musical instructions that are there like Rittertando, um, Tempo Primo, etc. And sometimes there are some things um, written in there that I don't know the word of, so I have to look that up or um, sometimes it's written in but I did not see it by the first time I read it so that's very useful. In my example we just have Rita Tando. If the piece is more complicated with different voices I also mark the voices in different colors. This just gives me an overview um, where the voices actually are and I sometimes then only play one voice or the other voice only two voices instead of three voices. It's much easier to to not play the right voice if it's not colored and when it's colored I have the feeling that I have a much better overview of the voices and I can bring out the melody voice better. After I colored the voices and I know the voices already, I do remove the colors from the voices again because sometimes it's a little bit too distracting um, but for practicing in the beginning it's very useful. That's basically everything I do. What I do then is normally that I just use my progress sheet with which I normally work. I made a video about this and I will link it here if you have not seen that. I hope this was useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel that you don't miss any further videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye!